Advocates on railways for mass transportation should be happy to hear that three major railway projects remain on track. Three major railway projects that seem doomed after loan agreements between the country and the China fell through may still be carried out to completion. News reports say that the Department of Transportation still expects to see three major railway projects to be substantially completed before the term of President Bongbo Marcos ends. These are the Subic Clark Railway Project, the Philippine National Railway South Long Haul Project, and the Davao Digo segment of the Mindanao Railway Project. These projects seem to have been derailed after depending on which news source one reads or hears, China backed out of loan agreements or government scrapped the deals to seek better ones. According to some reports, the Department of Transportation has started to renegotiate loan agreements for the projects with the Chinese government and China Exim Bank. Other news reports quoted Transportation Secretary Jaime Bautista as saying that the government is considering working with Japan and the Japan International Cooperation Agency to fund the projects. The report said Bautista has already met with Japanese officials to discuss the possibility of funding the railway projects. China's interest rate for official development assistance projects is at 3%, while Japan's is at 0.01%. Rail advocates are saying that regardless of which country provides the funding, railway projects should get back on track at the least cost to taxpayers. 